So today guys, we're gonna be taking a look at the slow motion capabilities of the Insta360 X3. Let's go. So for a long time, I have thought that the mix of slow motion and 360 video is a really awesome combination. The ability to reframe your 360 videos with unique positions, but still have that slow motion effect, I think is really, really effective and dynamic. But the problem has been that the quality of slow motion video when shooting with a 360 camera is actually pretty low. Now, let's just take a look first at a quick comparison between what you can get with a GoPro Hero 11 and compare it to what you can get with a Insta360 X3. Now, now with the GoPro Hero 11, this is actually an awesome camera for shooting in slow motion. You can get 200 frames per second at 2.7K and 100 frames per second at 4K. And this 4K and 2K resolution is compacted into a much smaller field of view compared to the Insta360 X3, which can shoot slow motion video at 100 frames per second in 3K resolution. However, this has to spread around the whole 360 degrees. So for every degree, there is way less pixels, so it doesn't look nearly as sharp. But as you've already seen here, the, uh, the advantage of the X3 is the ability to reframe that video like you saw with these bubbles examples that I did. Uh, you can follow things around, you can follow objects, and I think it just makes everything way more dynamic. Now I went out and just spent a day shooting in just slow motion with the X3 and just tried to combine them all together to see what we can get. So let's take a look. So yes, while the quality really isn't great, 3K 360 video doesn't look good, the slow motion is good. I think the 100 frames per second option is uh, very smooth, the slow motion works well, and you can get some really good effects when you combine the ability to reframe your videos. All I use to shoot all of the videos you're seeing is the Insta360 X3 and the extra large invisible selfie stick, although you could use pretty much any one that you can find. Simple, even simple things like running look really good and the ability to focus on yourself and then quickly pan around in that very smooth motion mixed with that slow motion capability I think looks really cool. Now the X3 has two different slow motion options. It has the ability to shoot 3K at 100 frames per second, in which case your video will be automatically in slow motion and you play it back in the Insta360 Studio. But you also have the ability to shoot 4K at 50 or 60 frames per second, in which case you can elect to slow of certain sections down, which means you can make a mix of normal speed and then have a small section slowed down by half. While the, resol while the image quality is better using the 4K at 60 frames per second, I don't really notice much of a slow motion effect. It's very subtle. So. For me, it's really not the best option if you want true slow motion. 
Another separate slow motion effect available only really in the X3 is the 4K bullet time mode. And this is done at 4K at 120 frames per second. So this is the best slow motion option, but it's only available in this mode. Now for me, I think it's quite difficult to get it right. You really need to have that camera way, way out of the way and to be spinning around quite quickly. The lenses need to be completely clean on both sides or you get this weird effect. If the camera spins around too much, it won't look that good. And it needs to be in a certain type of light where both sides of the camera are receiving the same amount of light. So essentially there's a lot that can go wrong with this mode and it doesn't always work. So you can get very creative with, well, with the camera in, in general, but I think with the slow motion effect, finding some movement either with yourself by running, jumping. I think this would look great if you were skiing, skateboarding, or finding something in your environment like the water. Anything that moves in 360 with slow motion, you're gonna be able to make it look really dynamic. Now a top tip, because basically the main issue here is that the quality isn't great, let's face it. It's really not, especially if um, you are watching on a large screen, the 3K is not gonna be good enough. So here are some top tips to maximize the quality of your, of your slow motion 360 video. Firstly, when you're editing and when you're reframing, zoom out a little bit. So when you are reframing, you can choose how wide angle the lens is or how much it's zoomed in. I recommend zooming out a little bit. Now by zooming out, the center of your image does look more sharp because you're viewing more of the pixels. At the edges, it does look quite pixelated and you do get this kind of warped effect, but I think it's overall does make for a better looking video. Also, make sure to color correct your videos in whatever program you're using. Even if it's the app, there is a color corrector there. I use Premiere Pro, which I know is a paid program, so not for everyone, but it makes a massive difference on the quality. And finally, try and use the Insta360 Studio to process your videos because doing so does result in high quality no matter what kind of video you process. If you use the app, the quality won't be as good. And if you use the studio, you can upscale to 4K. So when you press that export option, go into where it says resolution and type in 3840 by 2160 and it will upscale it very slightly, but the quality will be better than if you selected the uh, 1080p option. And finally, for the best, best quality, select ProRes in the file type that you export. It will be much, much larger file, literally a gigabyte for 30 seconds of video. But again, if you want the best quality, that is the correct option to select. Okay guys, so that's my quick video on the slow motion capabilities of the Insta360 X3. But guys, let me know what you think, if you think of any other slow motion tricks or tips for um, this camera, then please let us know in the comments and I will be uh, showing you some more stuff with this camera very soon. Please like this video and consider subscribing if you found this useful and if you wanna know more about the X3, I've got plenty more videos coming up. So yeah, until then guys, I will see you next time. Bye.